So this is something that you can do to practice that skill that we just talked about. So okay. uh, you're gonna practice natural movement in any direction. And just because we have it set up forward here, um, you know, th this single target could be a paper. You could shoot doubles on it. You could do a steal and just shoot one at a time. You can move side to side, whatever you want to do. Okay. But at the most basic level, like this is an extremely easy setup to practice this. So basically what it is, is um, I'm going to move comfortably, not trying to uh, slow down to make it easier. Right? I'm just going to move comfortably toward the next cone and watch my dot first and recognize when it's stable enough in that target area okay. for me to pull the trigger. Gotcha. And then what we're going to do is try to see how many times we can hit it uh, covering this ground. So we're covering about, you know, seven, eight yards here and going from maybe 20 yards away to, to 12 yards away. Okay. Something like that. So, uh, it's pretty simple. You don't need a timer or anything. Like I'm just going to start walking, get sights on it. And I'm just trying to observe what the dot does, what it, what it's bounce does. Okay. So for me, I, I'd say I'm in the white probably 80% of the time on my next rep, I can actually pull the trigger when I think that it'd be good enough. So that'd be the first step is just watching what the dot does. Mm -hmm. Now we'll actually keep pulling the trigger. Like it'll be dead, but I'm going to apply force. So Okay, so out of seven times that I pulled the trigger walking there, I called one mic, which was high right. And this is also a good drill to practice that error correction before you make the mistake. Gotcha. Like if you see the dot bouncing out, you, you hesitate a little bit and you wait for the next opportunity, okay. which is a really good skill to have. It'll save you a ton of makeup shots. Last step, live fire. So we'll start low, ready? Okay, so on my last one, I hit over the right. Yeah. Um, and then I had one I really wasn't happy with low on the stem. With this, you can vary it up and go faster and see if that, like see if you can still keep a Stay good hit on. percentage. We'll walk in faster, so I'll give that a try. All right, so I, as I'm starting to get a little less stable and, and covering that ground, I have less and less opportunity to hit the target. So it's even harder to, to time it, but I was still able to get three and then I started like stepping and hitting the ground a little too hard and then missed a couple. So we set up a rather difficult movement drill and what I wanted to focus on was shot timing and footstep timing. So the point of this drill was really to get to um, pass the snow shoot vision barrier so you can shoot the last target. Uh, while you're shooting everything else on the move. And what I was focusing on was basically trying to get my shots done in between steps. So on this rep, I was just focusing on keeping my dot still before I pulled the trigger. I was using that mindset going to the rep. Um, it's interesting to see what changed a little bit. I was probably back there, but I think the rest are pretty good. Those two alphas on the top target there, that were actually, that, those were from this rep. So let's see. That was good. Two in the middle. So I broke that one up with a step. Slowed down on that pair. And the last one was good too. Stand by. Good. On these, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, you, you did come in and shoot them while entering, but you were like here as you were shooting them. You were, you were like, you were at a complete stop still shooting this array. And um, so all that means is that this little push off, couple steps, it's, it's gonna feel way, way shorter than you expect it to. Okay. So really it, it might even just be like, bup, bup, ding, like one, two, and now I'm coming in. Okay. And I can do one, two, three, four, because really I want to be swinging into here when the wall is still covering it so that it comes out right as I hit the A zone, now I'm out of the wall. Okay, so as you're coming out of here and I swing over, 
not only am I trying to aim at these, but recognize that point. So now I know my direction and my engagement. So I want to be doing these on the move toward that point, right? We talked about not going toward them. Right. And then after that, it actually works out so that I can start shooting this. So when I'm done with this second target here, hopefully I have full view of my left target of this triple stack. So you can start shooting at yeah. it so, coming in. So there's no point my gun dips. I, I want to take you from doing this on one leg, pop, 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 run, 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 and then re-aim like that. And instead of doing that, I want you just to be comfortable taking one or two steps on these. So we come over, we go one, two, three, four, aim right there. And there's no dip or no nothing.